And I want a bit of that. You get what you're given. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get off. We don't want no problems with the law. This bad boy. <laughs> Look at it. I'll tell you what. My skin do be looking better. All the brushes fall. Yeah, I like that I'm recording when things go wrong. Because when I aren't recording, when things go wrong, I just scream. And then I don't want to do the video. But because you're already recording, I just go, Ah, oh, that's a shame. I knocked something over. <laughs> Whereas in real life, I'm like, I'm okay, honestly, I'm okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back today with a makeup look. Also, not sure about the hair situ. I use the waver again, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the hoops, just making it not look. What are we saying? Maybe these hair bits need to be tucked. Is that better? No. <laughs> I mean, you get what you're given. <laughs> Is that cute? No, not at all. Anyway, we're not here for hair, we're here for makeup, so we'll just ignore it. I mean, I try and make hair work, but the hair, doing hair life is just not for me. I wish I was good at it because she needs some work and you just you know you can't be good at everything all right <laughs> Jokes. so today i thought i would film a makeup look because i haven't filmed one in quite a while now i think it's been quite a while anyway i don't know i did a poll on my instagram um on what kind of videos you, you prefer the majority of you said makeup over what was it maybe i should get it up but if you remember seeing it uh, but I put what kind of videos do you prefer to watch of mine? I put either sit down chatty, vlogging and driving. Vlogging and driving one. But then I put if you picked sit down chatty, which do you prefer? Makeup vid or Q&A? 72% said makeup vid and only 28% said Q&A. And I think I've only ever done one Q&A. Which, a bit insult, they do like doing Q&As. But we'll let that slide. Give the people what they want. <laughs> and then I also put if you pick vlogging slash driving, which do you prefer? And you know, I was really shocked about the results of this one. Because only 29% of you said drive with me and 71% said day in the life vlog. I'm shocked. Because I thought the drive with me's were really popular. But you know, we can do a little vloggy vlog. I'm partial to a vloggy vlog. Please stop saying vloggy vlog. So, yeah, I just thought I'd film a little makeup vid, seeing as though most of you were requesting that. Just a bit of play with makeup, a little bit of a chatty chat, chat, chat. You know? Please like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos, Sana, to do more, and that also really helps me out. Thank you. I don't feel like I've sat down with you guys and had a, a chat in a while. Grab yourself a snack, grab yourself your favourite beverage of choice, or go get some makeup. Let's have a play together, and let's get on with the video. Swoosh. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off with the pink honey glue. My spoolie swirled in there. Slick. So how have we all been doing? How have we all been coping? June 21st, bitches. I think I said it in my last video, but you know, just you know, getting that in your head. Just been watching Sphere and Chinsy's video, and they're like, this half an hour video has made us a half an hour closer to freedom. I'm like, they're true. We love to see the positivity. The brows are actually looking a little bit fleeky, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself, don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So guys, have I got a product for you? I feel like everyone and their mum knows about this product, do you know what I mean? But I'm gonna tell you about it anyway, because I honestly think it has changed my skin. Like I know some of you are probably looking at my skin like, bitch, it does not. Your skin does not look good. But compared to what it did look like, oh, am I quite dark? Do I need the light? BRB. I think that's better. Let's hope. 
yeah as i was saying everyone i feel like everyone in the mum knows about this product the mum their auntie the dad their uncle the sister the brother the you get what i'm saying i feel like this product has been raved about but like i've just said game changer honestly the pixie glow tonic five percent glycolic acid exfoliating toner this compared to any physical exfoliator is just so much better i don't know i haven't tried it sooner i think i've been recommended it before and i just thought i thought i don't know why i had in my head that it was for just dried skin people um so i was like well ooh, i don't want my oils on my face but it literally says on the back like for all skin types and it's honestly i can't explain you know when you hear people say like oh this product changed my life and you think yeah right no it didn't like products can't literally change your skin but honestly like i've been taking photos of my skin since october uh, 2020 and how it looks now is crazy compared to how it did look so i cannot thank pixie enough you know for making this product i was gonna say for me <laughs> it's not for me well it is for me but it's not made for me you know what i'm saying i have put it into my fingertips before um and just done it like patted it onto my skin that way but i do find it's a lot easier just to put it on the cotton pad so i definitely oh got a bit i do like to apply the pixie tonic before i um, apply my moisturizer because honestly it just just makes such a huge difference to your skin Onto the moisturiser, I'm going to use the Body Shop Skin Defence Multi Protection Lotion with SPF 50. If you don't have an SPF in your daytime moisturiser, then what are you doing? You're going to be aging quicker than me, bitches. <laughs> but honestly, I'd definitely recommend getting, getting a moisturiser with at least SPF 30 in it. Maybe SPF, obviously mine's SPF 50 because... Even when the sun's not out, it could still damage your skin. Even when, even if you say, you know, I'm inside, still the sun can't get me. It can get you through the windows, girls. And boys. You know, I've told Josh about this. I've got him onto the SPF moisturiser too. It's better to prevent than to cure. I want me to leave you with that one, boys and girls. <gasps> oh, shall I use my nose foundation? I haven't used that in ages. <laughs> so, as I have mentioned literally 2,349 times, obviously I've moved house. Well, say it again, Emily, say it one more time. Um, but obviously when you move in house, you tend to forget where you've put stuff. And I was sorting my makeup out and I found a brand new NARS foundation. So I was really happy about that. So I'm gonna use that today. Also, I found this, just about to throw it out. So I thought, oh, I'll see if there's any left. Give it a good old shake. Bloody loads left, didn't they? Laura's not cheap, so you're going to be getting used before you go in the bin. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in M3 Stromboli. I think it's like the perfect tan shade. Again, it's really good coverage, like the Huda Beauty one that I've said about before. Um, but again, I'll mix it with the Fit Me in 118 just to make it a little bit lighter because otherwise she going to look an orange. Also, I'm so excited because... Basically, I wanted this concealer for, I want to say like nearing on, probably like one and a half to two years I wanted this concealer. I mean, the higher end concealers are obviously expensive and Dewey is fairly expensive. I think this was £16. Um, but to be fair, it is quite a big tube. And I've seen loads of YouTubers, well, I say loads of YouTubers. I've seen Nikki Tutorials rave about it and obviously, have we seen hair skin? I want a bit of that. So I ran out of my concealer, I was scraping the barrel for I'd say a good two weeks and I was just going to go back to Superdrug and get the elf one that I've been using for a while, oh lovely, I was just going to go back and get the elf one that I've been using for a while, don't get me wrong, it's really good, I really really like that concealer, um, but you know when you just fancy something new, you just want to try something a bit different, um, so I was like right, treat yourself. <laughs> Even though I probably shouldn't be, but, <laughs> but you know, I have wanted it for a while, and I think if you you debate buying something and it's you leave it on your tabs, like on your phone or on your computer, and you go on that like every week, and you click on that tab and think, I want to buy it. If it's meant to be. You should buy it. 
what I'd say to do is maybe if you want to buy something and you'd like debating it, um, maybe if it's too expensive or you know you just don't want to spend that money on it, keep it in your tabs and then two weeks later you come back to it and if you still want it, it's meant to be, you know. Obviously make sure your funds are sufficient because we don't want no claims, you know. We don't want no problems with the law. So I'm actually, this is kind of like a bit of a testing video because I'm actually going to be first time trying the Jouer Concealer, which I'm so excited to try. I can't wait. Look at that. The only reason I hate soap brows is because it's so difficult to go around your brows with your foundation and not like disturb what's going on, if you know what I'm saying. By the time you're watching this video, you'll all have probably watched the Oprah interview. I just have absolutely no knowledge on the royals or anything like that. But everyone's watching it, so I'm going to be watching it even though I don't have a clue what's going on. I've been updated by friends and fam what has been going on and <laughs> sounds like a lot of shit, a lot of problems. Um, so obviously that's going to be major tonight, bit of a... What's the word? What's the word? It's a bit of a milestone in... It's a milestone in the... What is the word? It's a milestone in the royal family media. Yeah, that's what it is. My mind does think, wow, what is going on in the world, you know? I don't quite know what I want to say here. <laughs> so now... I'm so excited. I should be a shit. <laughs> I should put it on like, where are you then? Because I bought the Barry M concealer and I've seen a lot of people rave about it. I think Mama Mitchell uses it. So why am I calling that? You Mitchell's by Mama Mitchell uses it. And I really didn't like it. It's just not good. So that's four pound I'm never gonna get back. But can we just talk about how beautiful this packaging is? I'm such a Hoa. Oh, the details. Honestly, these brands go to, let me tell you. Do you want a close up? I think you do. I don't know if you can see it, but it says like Jouer and it's like embossed into the bottle. Can you see that there? Oh, it's just the details for me, honestly. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, this is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in the shade Chiffon. And if I do say so myself, I do think that I shade match myself very well. You win some, you lose some. Like that, if that isn't the perfect colour, I don't know what is. So, this is for me a really nice shade. It's obviously quite light so you can brighten, but it's definitely got a yellowy turn to it, which I really like in my... Um, foundations and concealers. I don't know how much you actually need of this. So. <laughs> I don't look so crazy. Maybe I'll just do that bit first so I don't know how quick it dries. Pull out all the bougie makeup today, boys and girls. <gasps> we love. Wait, I'm going to do my forehead then I'll give you a close up. I was watching one of Surf does. Well, she used to be surfed as nails, but now she's just surf or surfed as life. Um, and she was saying how now she's getting a bit older. I mean, she's not old. She's like 22 or 23 or something. Um, but she prefers the glowy look. And do you know what? I'm kind of with her. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it just looks so much more fresh. And I don't want to settle into fine lines. That looks... I love that. I knew I'd like it. Just get so excited for the bloody concealers, don't I? Do you know who I have been watching a lot of? Emma Chamberlain. And, you know, I've only just subscribed to her. I think I've watched one of her videos ages ago when she did, like, a collab with James Charles. Um, but I never actually really watched her channel, I don't think. And, you know, she's... I mean, I get the hype. I get why a lot of people like to watch her. Probably because Sophia was like, oh, I spent a day watching Emma Chamberlain, so I was like, you know, let's see, let's see what she's all about, let's see what, what kind of gal she is. This is going to make me want to buy my Laura because I haven't bought one in ages. 
I've been using the Revolution one. I don't get me wrong, the Revolution one is really nice, but um, look how soft it makes your skin. I'm so looking forward to be able to do my makeup to actually go out. Because I feel like, obviously because I'm 20, like these are like the prime years for like going out and you know having a good time and you know we just we really are missing out i feel sorry for all the the gals that have just turned 18 because this is meant to be our time for going out you know what i'm saying so if anyone's watching and they want to send me a laura mercier powder i'll be highly grateful or any makeup for that fact you know i love it i love makeup it'll be a great home for makeup so now I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer in shade Deep Tan. We love her. And I'm going to go in with the big Morphe M527. This is a big, big bronzer brush. But it gets the job done quick and that's what we like. It's so nice to look bronzy, isn't it? I love that. I can go wild with this bronzer because I'm not going to. Actually, I need to go to Morrison's. Okay, let's not do too much. Oh, do it, Emily. She says, adding more. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Blush palette. And I'm going to use a mixture of these first two. This one's more like a highlight, but it, um makes it like a glowy blush do you know what i'm saying oh how cute i like to use quite like a dense brush for brush for blush <laughs> that's what i had to say a little mouthful just because i think then you can apply it like exactly where you want it and it don't go crazy she cute or whatever can you just see that sheen from the blush Love that. As you can tell, I'm being, I'm pulling out a lot of things that I didn't realise was in my collection. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Highlight Palette. Now this is beautiful. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's so pretty. A lot of people have been talking about the new Earth Highlight. Is it called Milk and Cookies? Um, that looks so pretty, but they're so expensive. It's like for a circle palette, I think it's like £30. <laughs> so expensive, oh my god, ridiculous. Now I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows with an angled brush and the shade Shady out of the Be Perfect eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Have any of you tried the Refi brow products? Because I'd really quite like to try them, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, the sun's coming out. So I've just popped some concealer on my, so I've just carved out my brows and dropped the concealer down onto my eyelids, just as a bit of an eye base. Um, for the shadows, I'm going to put on top. So what I think I want to go for is, what a Jordan Lipscomb look actually. She did this kind of like really dark brown, maybe even black wing situation. And then I thought I could put maybe like this colour on the lid like I think that would look quite cool we'll just see how it goes because sometimes this shit hard sometimes this shit easy you know what I'm saying as I am on the trend of pulling out makeup that I've just recently discovered I had and um, I think I might use the Morphe 35F palette now who remembers this bad boy <gasps> oh beautiful I haven't seen the dew in. All I've done is a line so far. The wonky. That one's 
fire. Oh. <laughs> Maybe my eyes are uneven. Maybe it's not. No, it's the makeup. I don't think it's the eyes. <laughs> So I'm back. The camera did cut off, so I just had to put it on charge for a little bit. And I thought I'd just sort my eye situation out and then come back to you when it was looking a little bit more decent than they originally did. So basically what I've done is I went round it with a little Q-tip, a cotton bird, um, and just made it a little bit um, lower because I think it was uneven. So basically I sorted that out. And then I've just put a bit of concealer on my lid. I just want to go in with either the purpley bluey colour that I showed you before. Or maybe this colour. That could look cool. As you can tell I swatched all of them. <laughs> it's a really pretty palette this one. This is by Revolution. It's called Forever Dynamic Everlasting. I think that's the full name. Let's try this one first. Because I think this one will be easier to get off than this one. And then if I don't like this one, then I'll put this one on. See, she's thinking all the time. <laughs> right. Let's see how this looks. Can you see that? Oh, that does look quite cool. Quite spacey. I mean, I can't see it, but maybe you can. <laughs> I don't need to try the green. Do the green on oh, she's intense look at that whoa look at that color no don't like the green that's a shame because i've just put it on my eye <laughs> it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get off right i'll be back when we're back to where we was on this side right so i think we're pretty much back to where we was other than i have added some lashes uh, as you can see now I think these are the Amazon ones again and I keep forgetting to tag them below but I will do it I did also put some like black and purple smoke underneath the glitter's kind of like purple tone so I thought that would look quite cool to like tie it in but I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner in Intimidate lip glass in the shade Primordial, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's me. <laughs> so I've just popped a little bit of concealer just um, just in the middle just to brighten it a little bit. I think that makes it look a little bit better. I'm sorry I'm having to hold the light here but it's just a bit awkward so I want you to be able to see me. If you did like this video please feel free to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up because that way I'll know that you like these kind of videos and I'll know to film more of them. Sorry if I keep switching between where I'm looking, I don't know if you can really tell but I never know where's best to look. <laughs> hope you're good, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, whether you got ready with me or you were just chilling watching with a snack and a drink. So I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye guys. I feel like I need to change that outro. It's getting a bit old. Love ya. See ya.